Last year before Napa, Trevor asked me to go golfing. I said, oh, this is good. I, I think I know what's happening here. I was so excited, I ran over to the neighbors. I said, I think Trevor's going to pop the question. So we went golfing, and we golfed, and we golfed. No question. We got done golfing, went to the car. I said, Trevor, how about we go have a beer and have a cheeseburger? He said, that sounds really good. So we did that. And we got in there and Trevor asked if I would allow him to take my daughter's hand in marriage. And I said, Trevor, I've been waiting for a long time. Trevor, we always say we're gonna love each other forever and always. Well, today is the start of our forever. We've loved each other through a lot, you know. I look back at our relationship from the very beginning and I'm so proud at how much we've helped each other grow in our faith and in our love towards one another. I can still remember the way I felt when you first told me you loved me. I knew that this was going to be a good, true love, but little did I know as a 16-year-old girl that I would be the one that God chose to complete you. And I just want you to know that if I shed any tears today, it's not because I'm sad or worried or frightened. I'm not nervous or afraid of committing the rest of my life to you. Instead, if I shed tears, it's because this is the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Hey, are you ready? When you know somebody long enough, and if you know them well enough, you'll meet them several times throughout your life. So I'll tell you a couple stories here. A long time ago, I met you as a friend. Later, I met you as a brother. All jokes aside, you're somebody I truly consider to be part of my family. Tonight, I get to meet you as a husband to Hannah. Hopefully in the future, I get to meet you as a father. Don't get up. Yes, it looks so good. Yeah. You're hot again. I We've always joked about getting married as high school sweethearts and as college went by, and today becomes a reality. Thank you for being the biggest part of who I am today. Thank you for never giving up on me. You have always and will always be the stronger, more supportive, and ultimate backbone of our relationship. When you are strong, I am strong. When you are loving and kind, I am loving and kind. And whether you know it or not, you are always leading by example. And for that, I thank you. A couple summers ago, Hannah and I went to a Post Malone concert. And we always joke about how it was the best day of our lives. But Trevor, you should be happy because I think today is a very, very close second. <laughs> Watching them work through those struggles and those challenges convinced me that they're ready to spend the rest of their lives together. Read it to me. It says, always your little girl. Trev, today we literally become one. We become a team, but most importantly, we become family. I promise that I will continue to show you how much you mean to me and how thankful I am to share the rest of my life with you. They've both grown and changed in so many ways over the years, but the one thing that's remained constant is their love for each other. They fit together perfectly and have built a strong foundation out of love, respect, and faith. Through our sacrament of marriage, we will always be there for each other, and I will always be there for you.
We will hold hands through all the ups and downs, the good times and the bad, and we will accomplish what God set out for us. Without you, I am nothing. Together, we will one day enter God's kingdom. I love you forever and always. Most is infinity, vigilion, core. <laughs> Ten years ago, you guys loved each other when you first met. Tonight, you're very different people. And I would say tonight, you love each other even more than you did ten years ago. Yeah.